Hello, my name is David Chesters. I am the rector of St. John's Church, or St. John the Baptist Church in Chester, the oldest standing building in the city and the original cathedral. We go back in recorded history to 689, but probably a long time before that. And over the next few weeks, as churches have had to close, we will be downloading um, services that we conduct ourselves for you. We will be praying for you, whoever you are. Our team is myself as the rector, and then we have my deputies, Canon Tony, Father George, and Father Andrew. And each of us in turn will give a talk, conduct a service. Some of my talks mightn't be about uh, religion. I might talk about the history of this church, which is fascinating. I might also invite you to help me plan for the future, for new services, whatever we might walk into as we go through our lives. So, there we are, St John's. It stood here for a long time. It has seen many, many pandemics. I've listed some of them. We have the first pandemic that I looked at. It's the Antonine Plague of 165 AD. Whether there was a church on this site at that time is debatable, but it's possible that Christians lived here in the early part of the first millennium. Then we come to the plague of Justinia in 541-2, in which 25 million people died. There would have be been definitely a Christian presence here in Chester and probably on this site. And then for us in this country, in England, the worst, I suppose, is the Black Death of 1346 to 15 to 1353, coming here in 1348. It's estimated that between 75 and 200 million people died. And then we go through cholera and pandemics, and then the Great Plague in 1665. And bear in mind that there is a prayer in the Book of Common Prayer for plague and sickness, and I'll read it to you. O Almighty God, who in thy wrath did send a plague upon thine own people in the wilderness for their obstinate rebellion against Moses and Aaron, and also in the time of King David did slay with the plague of pestilence threescore and ten thousand, and yet remembering thy mercy did save the rest. Have pity upon us miserable sinners who now are visited with great sickness and mortality, that like as thou didst then accept of an atonement and didst command the destroying angel to cease and punish him, so it may now please thee to withdraw from us this plague and grievous sickness. And yes, we do ask God to withdraw us from this terrible sickness, but the prayer is not appropriate for the modern world. And I will read you shortly the new prayer that we've introduced. So, what are we going to do? Well, we are going to follow what the Queen has said. Our head of state has put it quite succinctly by saying we are all being advised to change our normal routines and regular patterns of life for the greater good of the communities we live in and in particular to protect the most vulnerable within them. Many of us will need to find new ways of staying in touch with each other and making sure that loved ones are safe. I'm certain we are all up to the challenge and you can be assured that my family and I stand ready to play our part. That is quite typical of the Queen, and we thank her for her kind words. So what are we here for? 
We are here for prayer. We are here to conduct services on your behalf. I am sorry that you can't be here for those services. Also, if the church is closed and we will try and open it for at least an hour a day for people to come in and pray, we will open the porch and we leave a little book for people to record their prayers. You may also use the prayer page on our website, which is www. Everything has a dot in it, parishofchester.com. And you may leave a prayer there. Or you may go on the St John's Facebook page. Whatever you do, those prayers will be brought into church and at a Mass, a Eucharist, call it what you will, we will use them and offer them up to heaven. And for the future, where do we go? We must all learn. And I know it's hard to think of new ways. One of those is to pray. And we've devised a prayer at St John's, which I now read to you, and it is for you all. Creator God, at this time of uncertainty and turmoil, as we fight to combat a terrible plague, we bring before you all the peoples of our world, whatever their race, whatever their color, their class, their creed, their sexual orientation, or anything else. We are all the same. We are precious children of God. A creation you gave humanity a part of yourself, a soul, and with it the ability to create. And we ask, Father, that the abilities you gave us may be directed to working together to fight this virus through medicine and science, and by us all joining together and working to help those who are vulnerable in our society. Amen. I commend that prayer to you, and now I will give you God's blessing, and it's for everybody. The peace of God, which passes all understanding, keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, Jesus Christ our Lord, and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with you and all those you love and care for now and unto eternity. That's a Christian blessing. I also give a blessing to everybody else, children of God, whether you call God Allah, Adonai, whatever. You are all children and we bless you. Amen.